Oh, this sucker is pretty. Oh my god, it looks nice. Look at that. This is in this box for me. This box is for you. Well, if it's something from Jamie. No, uh, that's not for me, that's for her. I'm just helping. Yep. So, here's what happened. After the Southern Fried Gaming Convention, Deadline and I came home and we were kind of talking about the stuff that he didn't have. And one of the computers he said he really, really, really always wanted was a Commodore SX-64. So I saw an opportunity to give him a really epic birthday gift. And I knew I needed help. So I reached out to Adrian from Adrian's Digital Basement, who was super duper nice and gave me a lot of really good advice. And he told me to reach out to Jamie Idlepix with the Meatloaf Project, who is also a very dear friend of ours, because he had just bought an SX-64 himself not too long ago. So I reached out to Jamie, and together we formulated a cunning plan <laughs> to get Deadline his SX-64 for his birthday. And we both kind of got online and started looking, and I found it. Um, and he checked it out and then I purchased it and had it sent to him and he unboxed it and uh, tested it and everything and, and it turned out to be a pretty good one and we reached out to Zamfir and we were going to wrap it up really cool and get get a get a funny box and all that stuff but I just I got too excited and had to, to give it to him without all the bells and whistles just because my love language is gift giving so um yeah <laughs> happy birthday deadline um i hope you enjoy your sx64 it is super cool and i am very grateful and thankful to adrian again of adrian's digital basement jamie idol picks with the meatloaf project and our very own zamfir thank you guys so much i could not have done it without you City man. Looks like he packed it really good. This box was solid, nothing was rattling around in there. Packed pretty damn good from what it looks like. And there's the SX64. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's bubble wrapped real nice. Okay. Oh, this sucker is pretty. Oh my God, it looks nice. Look at that. Okay. Power it on. Ready? And is the screen coming on? Yes, it is. Look at that. It looks pretty. Let's see. Let me grab a disc real quick. Cyberscape BBS stuff. This is my old BBS from a long, long time ago. ISI work disc. This is my old code. Spreadsheet plus. Let's look at this. This is a work disc. This is one of my work discs. ISI is Instant Software Incorporated <laughs> from when I was a teenager. That was my business or my name that I picked for my group and it's not reading that okay let's see but that might be a bad disk these things are so old let's try another I don't know why it's making that noise nope it's not reading that disk the heads might need to be cleaned but it's trying to read the disk and I might have put a bad disc in there with some gunk on it and maybe that caused it to need the heads to be cleaned again. It does keep making some staticky noise. Let's see, all right, let's try this one. Doop, 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 doop. All right, I've got, a, I've got a disc cleaner over here. Put a good bit of alcohol on this, that's the alcohol I put on here. All right. This is the head cleaning disc. So I'm gonna stick this in here. Let's do directory listing a couple of times. That should cause it to 
clean the head a little bit. Open it, close it. So it'll try and do it again. There we go, okay. Should have cleaned the heads just a tad, at least. Now let's try this disc again. This is a Seabase BBS V3. Nope. Okay, so it's not reading floppy disk, but that can be fixed as long as it's not the the drive heads that are the problem. It may be, maybe just need some alignment or some kind of adjustment. Um, but the electronics, you know, it's responding, like it's, it's definitely getting the command. Um, I was trying to read the disc. You can hear the, the heads moving in there. But um, it's just not reading one yet. And again, these could be bad discs. I haven't touched these in a long time. I don't know if, hmm. I wish I had one that I knew was good. I know I probably read these recently. Oh, uh oh, oh, just got a listing on that one. There we go. How about that? All right, good news, good news, good news. Directory listing, listing, yay. All right, so drive works. Let's see if, let's see if we can load this. This says games, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Directory listing off SD to IEC. Nine, nine, okay. Yeah, there's some, some keys are a little, need some tapping to get them to work again. Is, Cause this is a good one. It's got a good um, attract screen. Unis, dot e64 and all right loading and it's got music so we'll be able to make sure the SID's working all of that couldn't find my diagnostic cartridge and I don't have it around here somewhere working the way it's supposed to um, I was thinking about the Fuji loaf it will not work on the system unless we fix the user port the 9 volt uh, one of the 9 volt pins is shorted. Uh, that's a default issue with the SX64s. Real easy to fix. We just have to take it apart and cut that cut that short between um, one of the 9 volt lines, and then you can get 9 volt AC on the user port, like it's supposed to, like it's supposed to be. Okay, there we go. And hmm. Well, looks like we might have a bad SID because we're getting some uh, just hum from the CRT, but we're not getting any sound and I've got the volume all the way up here. That can be fixed. We can get a yeah modern replacement and that shouldn't be too expensive, but there should have been music there. And there's Goonies. We should have music right now. Your stick's working. There's something moving the character around. I mean, for the most part, it is functional. Just have to re fix, replace the SID. And um, hopefully, none of the other chips are bad. Hi, everybody. I'm here with Jamie Idlepix, who has been an amazing help to me. We are bringing Deadline a Commodore SX64. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Deadline! There's a gift for you incoming. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's going on, man? There's a spot on that table right there. Table? Yes. I have got you a gift. You got me? What's going on, dude? This isn't a box for me. This box is for you. Well, if it's something from Jamie... Uh, that's not for me, that's for her. I'm just helping. Yep. Yay, Cyberphone! This is what I was doing! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what? Not that one. I already know what this is. Do you? I know what this is. This is amazing. Is this something that you want to pick up somewhere? No. No. 
<laughs> it was shipped in that box, but. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you want to hear the story? I am very curious about this now. Well, so, um, you know. We, I met all these amazing people at the convention, and when we came home and you were talking about your idea to make a video with an SX-64, I said, huh, I, I bet I could arrange getting one of those things. So I reached out to Adrian at Adrian's Digital Basement, who gave me some amazing advice and was so very sweet. And then I spoke to Jamie here and Sam Fear as well. And I ordered that yeah. and we had were all it. hunting for a little while. And yeah, I found it and you wound up finding this one. Yes. sent it to him so he could unbox and test it to make sure that it was didn't need some huge repairs. And then we kind of uh, conspired to bring it to you today. There's, there's only one issue that I found with it. It does need a new SID chip. Mm -hmm. so. I have an extra SID chip. So. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. All right. <laughs> you know, part of the fun will be fixing it now. So. Yeah. Well, just popping a SID chip in, right? And the cable should be in there for the keyboard. Oh. And one of the blue covers for the, for the arms here, is in there. Uh, we'll have to 3D print you another one. Oh, there's more things. Okay. <laughs> you know what? This is so awesome. Yeah, so it did, it did have the original keyboard cable, too. So that's great. Oh, the, uh, yep. Yeah, the other yep. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is all her idea. Really? We, were just, we were just helping, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, right after the festival, she was... Like, mm -hmm. hey, I want to do this. Yep. <laughs> this is so awesome. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you do open it up to change the SID, yeah. we need to do that mod on the user port, too, to um, fix the 9-volt power on it. You just cut a trace. All right. <laughs> Over here. All right. Yeah. Ooh, it glitchy. does crackle like that because of the... Glitchy. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. <laughs> Some tapping. Oh my. That's cool. Kind of zero. I can't tell. It's so small. <laughs> oh no! You need your glasses. No, no. It's the screen. It's uh, very, very small. Right? It is very small. So it makes it very kind of hard to read. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm just writing a little program real quick. Okay. Four. I equals zero to, let's say, 100. This is going somewhere, I promise. Okay. <laughs> we believe you. <laughs> then that zero key. Man. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a strobe light. Uh, Turn out the lights, let's dance. Uh, oops, 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 oops. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we will let you enjoy your. SX64, and we will come back to this later. You're so awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. City Man. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new programming series. And be sure to check out all the other vintage computer related videos on our channel. Right here on City Zen. Pay for my City Zen for a different